so much mosquitoes. But we're gonna light a fire and I'm told that coconut oil might help. Nu är det jätteskönt. Det är inte okej okay någonstans. Nu är det jätteskönt här. Nej. <laughs> Första gången vi gör det kommer vara jobbigt. Nej, men grejen är så här också. Det kommer bara vara pinsamt för oss. Förhoppningsvis. Oh, ja, ja. Det kommer inte vara konstigt för andra två personer att prata engelska på internet. Vad heter idag då? Midsommardagen. Och det är pinsamt! <laughs> Good morning. Actually, it's noon, but you know. <laughs> I have a new microphone I'm trying. I've been having troubles with the wind in my videos. And oh my god! <laughs> and we'll have it here. Hello. My mom had Uguay for tonight. It's really weird waking up without him, but it's also kind of nice to sleep until you wake and then you have absolutely no obligations the entire morning, so. It was really nice. I still miss him a lot though. Something that's on my mind lately is midsummer. It's coming up in just a little while and the flowers are just like exploding. <laughs> Usually we have pretty nice celebrations. Probably won't be any this year, but I thought it could be really fun to tell you about some Swedish midsummer traditions normal year <laughs> they would be a gathering raising a flower cross sort of i'll insert some photos or stock videos or something a common misconception is that it's a fertility symbol uh, so you're like dancing around this phallic <laughs> thing but it's it's actually not rocket i'm trying to talk here this is rocket <laughs> One of my favorite midsummer traditions is one young girls do to predict their future. Here's how you do it. On Midsummer's Eve, right before bed, you go out and pick seven different flowers. You bring them inside and put them under your pillow. That night, you will dream about the one you will marry. <laughs> I've been on the fence if I should share the following clips or not, but <laughs> I decided to do it anyway because, first of all, I really like them. <laughs> and secondly, I want to be transparent and share my downs just as my ups. And sometimes, but I'm also a little stupid. <laughs> I've been looking forward to dandelions all winter because I wanted to make dandelion syrup. So I put on my flowy dress and skipped out on the meadow putting pretty dandelions into my pretty basket. <laughs> I washed them and plucked out the petals, but this part took way longer than I thought. Then suddenly I was out of time and I had to get Uguay from kindergarten, go shopping, cook and you know, all that jazz. And at the end of the night I was thinking that maybe 
it wasn't good that I left the dandelions out in the heat all day. Maybe they went bad or I don't know, it sounds silly, but it was my thought process at the time. But you know, there's plenty of dandelions, I thought, and I threw them away. <laughs> but the next time I had a little time over so I could try to make it again, all the dandelions had already turned into little balls of poof. <laughs> I try to appreciate everything these days. I am quite shaken about how fast time is, is passing now. I feel like I want to make the most of my time and value what I have now because soon it will be only a memory. This is why I, I love making videos both for this channel but also privately because it's not only a, a record about how things look but also how I feel about them. So, I am carping all the DMs I can over here, and I hope you are too. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. I'm peeling these rhubarbs and I'm going to cook a sort of drink out of them. I don't know what it's called in English, maybe like lemonade. It's a concentrated fruit or berry drink that is sweet and then you dilute it in water. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because these stems are way too thick to cook like a pie or something on. It smells incredible. Oh, it's so sour. Oh, <laughs> I'd rather have my coffee right now. This have been boiling for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna do like five more. I was just outside sweeping while it was boiling and I fell in like the most awkward way ever. I didn't hurt myself too bad because I was like, I don't know, stopping my fall with multiple parts of my body so no one got that big impact. But it's time to pour out these babies. There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze Not 
standing by.